Greetings and welcome to Pinball Help. Here I am with doing some surgery on Rudy's face from uh, Funhouse. And um, one of the problems with this game is if you look in the manual, it doesn't really tell you a whole lot about how to work on this. So if you've got this animatronic head and you've got problems with it, you're kind of somewhat on your own if you can't find somebody to help you because the manual doesn't really go into a lot of detail. Let me see if I can find the manual around here. I had it a second ago. And uh, I was looking at... Oh, it's over here. Okay. So basically, this is what you get in the manual trying to figure out how Rudy works. That's it. You just get like an exploded view of Rudy. Uh, there's a little bit of stuff on the assembly, but that's it. There's not really any information about how to disassemble him or anything. It's just like, blam! There's all the parts that make him up. Good luck! So, <laughs> even figuring out how to get the thing out of the game is a pain in the butt. And uh, you do that by disassembling the face on the top side. Um, this is the face that goes over him, right, like that. But you have to unscrew this, the front and the back of the face, with these screws here on the side. You have to do that on the top side of the play field. So you undo one here and you undo um, another one for the, uh, the back, back part of the head. So you have, and then that lifts up off the top. So before you can even service it, you've got to get these things off the top side. Then once you've got those off, there's these uh, screws on the bottom, so you have to lift the playfield up, undo them, unplug a bunch of stuff, and then pull it out of the back. And, and there's a whole other assembly. There's a motor here which drives the mouth that goes up and down, a little motor like that. That's a completely separate thing. Uh, I'm not focusing on that right now, but there's problems with that. There's a little gear that attaches to this that is a common thing that fails and it's broken on mine, I'm going to have to replace that. But before I do that, I was having a problem. Let me tell you what the problem was with this. Well, Rudy just wasn't working right. The mouth wasn't opening, the eyes weren't working, the eyelids weren't working. It was hard trying to figure out, so I had to take it apart and just kind of look at it. Just uh, For lack of a better word, I had, to, I had to eyeball it and see what was wrong with it. Um, so... The nice thing about these pinball games is if you've got even a rudimentary basic knowledge of, of the mechanics of how something should move and go back and forth, you could look at it, kind of tell. So this is a pretty ingenious and pretty complicated assembly here. You've got one, two, three, four coils in this thing that control the eyes and the eyelids. And uh, let's just go over how the whole thing works with the eyes and the eyelids. Um, first off, the eyes are attached to, let's go around and look at the back, they're attached to this pivoting thing right here, and there's two coils, there's a coil on each side, and basically the eyes are centered, and when the coil pulls, it goes one way or the other, like that, see how it goes that way or that way, and that makes the eyes turn left or turn right. Uh, normally they just sit in the middle. I'm going to have to look at this. There's no springs here. I don't know if there's supposed to be springs or it just naturally centers itself. But when, when one coil fires, it moves this to one side. And as you'll see over here, move the eyelids up. Eyes go either one way, center, or the other. So, like that. So that way, that way. Center, left, center, right. Not particularly exciting, but that's how it works. Um, so you have your two coils right here, and uh, they, they basically move this thing back and forth. Alright, while I'm at it, let's take a look in the manual and see if there's supposed to be a spring there. Okay, so I think we're looking right about here. There's our two coils and there's a single 
kind of a plunger that goes through both of them. I don't see any spring on it, so I guess that's right. And then there's the little bracket thing with the eyes. Okay. So, I think the eyes are set up right. Maybe things could be cleaned out, degunkified a little bit. Now, the, the, eyebrow, the eyebrows were definitely something that wasn't working on this game. And the eyebrows are a lot more complicated. Let me see if I can orient this so you can see how this works. So, for the eyebrows, there's two coils here. There's one coil right here, and there's another coil back here. And you see there's these two plungers that intersect. One goes out the other side. Um, from what I, from looking at it, the way I see that it works is this bottom plunger basically controls the eyelids going up and down, and uh, the back plunger kicks kicks in and determines when the eye when the eyelids go up and down, whether they go up and down from the mid, from this point or from all the way down closed. So this lower plunger. This lower coil fires the, the eye, the eyelid is just going up and down with the eyes open. When this thing is fired back here, I think it allows the eyelids to completely close. So they would go completely down like that. It's the way they're supposed to go completely down like that. Mine don't. You see that? They don't, they don't default to that with this piston in the back. And the reason I think is, you see this spring right here? This spring is probably supposed, I think it's turned, it's inverted, it's turned the wrong way. One end is wider than the other and the narrow end is over here and the wide end is over here, it should be the other way around. The wide end should be against the coil and the, the tapered end should probably stop right here so that this is pushing up. So you see the spring is not installed properly and that's causing this, this thing to not, to not be forced all the way down. So when the rear coil is energized, the default position for the eyelids is completely closed. When the rear coil is not energized, um, this thing hooks right there, and that becomes the home position. So then when, so it's like, yeah, 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 yeah. And then when this one pulls in, when the rear one pulls back, it's like, Rudy falls asleep. So, I've got to take this assembly apart. I've got to fix this spring. I, but I, there's also another problem. When I pull this thing apart, this thing was actually up here. Whoever put this up here installed it completely wrong. So, I have another problem in that this thing is actually separate from the piston. It doesn't look like it, but this is, this is broken. Right here, this little... The, um, this piece and the plunger are not attached to each other, and I think they're supposed to. See how this one is? This one is not. So I'm going to have to take this whole thing apart and, uh, and fix it. So that's my initial research. Uh, now i got to get online, see where my sources are for these kinds of parts, see if I need to buy a whole new thing here or, or I can get the assembly. And this is really tricky trying to figure out how to get this thing off because you've got attachment here, you got attachment here, you got attachment in the back, you got it. This thing is attached to the eyelid. It's uh, it's like one of those brain teaser puzzles trying to figure out how to take it apart. Um, so, you know, eh, it's got to be done. So that's where I'm at. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more. Visit uh, the website pinballhelp.com. Thanks.